Hey there, Comets. I'm back with another story today. Today's story is called Mother Bruce. Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. Kind of a grumpy face. Mr. Klein sometimes has that face, doesn't he? He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. Check out Bruce here. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local business, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. But the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. I wonder what that surprise would be. Mama! Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. Uh-oh. And who are they calling Mama? Yep, looks like Bruce. Bruce wanted hard-boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason, he lost his appetite. There's that grumpy face. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest, only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. Mama? Mama? But he was followed. Bruce was very stern and said things like, Go away! and I am not your mother. And also, I liked it better when you were eggs. Some of you have probably seen Mr. Klein stand like this too, in the hallway. Roar! Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Mama, mama. Looks like he tried to hide up in a tree. They found him. And they're following him through the woods. Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. It was hard work. What a mess. 
And doesn't look like they like what he made. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese and he could take a long winter nap. See, geese are growing up. Bruce explained migration, but they didn't listen. That word migration, it's kind of when animals move from one area to another. Geese move when the seasons change, but his geese seem to be different. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. This is how he's getting creative. Looks almost like Angry Birds. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. <sighs> Sigh. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus. Where do you think they're going to go? They migrated to Miami. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese headed south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes, recipes that don't hatch. page. A little turtle there. Mama? The end. Well, I hope you liked Mother Bruce comments. I miss you guys. Be sure that you are reading every day. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you again later this week for another story time.